So in order to get our real-time earthquakes, we are going to use a KML file provided by USGS. So we can look for USGS real-time earthquake KML or simply click on the link in the description below. We are going to go with the first link. In this website, you get a lot of information and a lot of files to download. You have to choose between automatic feeds and static feeds. So the difference is that the automatic feeds updates whereas the static feeds do not auto update. So you have also two options to choose from. You have the past seven days and the past 30 days. So in our case, we are going to go with the automatic feeds in order to get the updates. And we are going to download the past seven days and you can choose between. So for the coloration, you can color those earthquakes by age, depth, age animated or depth animated. So in our case, we are going to download the colored by depth. Click on it. Navigate to where we want to save it and then click on save. If you get back to your folder, you will find your KML file. Now open Google Earth Pro. And after that, go ahead to file and then click open. Navigate to your folder, click on your KML file and then click open. And you can see here that we got our earthquakes. The size of this dot reflects the magnitude of those earthquakes. And for the colors, for each color, each color represents a depth of the earthquake. So you can find those earthquakes, especially in the active tectonic areas, like for example, this margin of the North American plate. You can also find in Latin America. So those earthquakes are related to this subduction zone. You can, if you want, click here and show the tectonic plates. This is a tectonic boundary. So this is why there are a lot of earthquakes right here. You can also find a lot of earthquakes in this area of Southeast Asia. And those tectonic boundaries are colored indicating the type of this tectonic boundary. You have divergent, transform, convergent and other. So those earthquakes will update automatically. So this is the end of this tutorial. I hope that you got some useful information from it. So please like it, subscribe if you want to get more tutorials.